All right, good morning. Thank you for being on the uh, fundamentals. Um, as a quick recap, as you guys know, we've spent the last several weeks uh, going over uh, the fundamentals, the pieces of our business that we need to get better at. As we know, this is a skill-based market. We have to increase our skills um, in the fundamentals. And you guys have noticed that my conversations over the last several weeks have been really uh, focused on listing, saying, you know, getting clarity that in this market, an agent that can control the listings and have more listing conversations is going to win and win more easily in this market. And so it's critical for us to be plugging into and using any tools that we have available to us that are going to set us apart, particularly in the listing front and the listing value. And so for that reason, I have uh, asked James Western wide, uh, to be on the call this morning. Good morning, James. Good morning. Uh, so for those of you who haven't met James yet, uh, he is our uh, mortgage lender partner um, and just a phenomenal guy, him and his brother Mark, um, and I'll let him give a quick intro to, to himself and his team here in a second. Um, but the thing I've really appreciated is you guys know I'm very particular in my uh, partnerships and my relationships. And uh, we went through uh, a series of conversations with James and Mark before we decided to bring them on as, as a uh, mortgage partner in our business. And not only are they incredible businessmen, um, their ethics and, uh, are very much in line with ours. And culturally, they're a great match for us, knowing that uh, we provide a phenomenal service. They provide a phenomenal service, but it's about the people um, and what they get from us in the relationship. So, uh, James, why don't you give us like a, just a quick recap of, of who and your brother are, how long you've been in business, and then I want to do an introduction specifically to uh, the list reports, which is a phenomenal tool that's going to set our agents apart when they're talking to their clients about their listings. And I think this is a tool that, while it's been available to our agents for several weeks now, uh, they're not plugging into it the way I'd like to see them uh, plug into it, just because I think it is such a strong tool. So go ahead and give us a quick intro, and then why don't you drive the conversations in regards to list reports. Sure, no problem. Thank you. So uh, Mark and I have been uh, in the real estate industry uh, since about 2000, and at the time we opened up a real estate brokerage and a mortgage uh, company and we had that until 2008 and then uh, with our partner uh, our third partner on the real estate company uh, we just let him continue on with that uh, entity it was called signature group real estate and we had offices in Park City in Salt Lake City and a very small one in st. George we maintained our mortgage brokerage and then we aligned uh, in about uh, 2010 with Citywide Home Loans to be part of a mortgage bank. Mark has been one of the on the list uh, for Mortgage Magazine of the top 200 loan officers for I think this is his ninth or tenth year in a row. Wow. So he has a lot of volume, a lot of experience. Um, but I also want to say that the loan officers that we have uh, uh, up in South Ogden as well with Bryce and, and Becca, they do great volume. Uh, they're really, really effective loan officers as well. So we really try to ensure that we provide you great loan officers who can meet your needs and then having a background in, in real estate for many years, we also understand the importance of how can real estate agents grow their business and what can we do to support them. So hopefully that addresses what you wanted in that regard, yeah. Marcus. Yeah, great intro. Let's jump into the tool. Walk us through list reports. Okay. So list reports, and I don't know if you wanted me to just talk about it or if you want me to show a few yeah, things on the website. Let's show it. We've got 25 minutes. Uh, why don't you show us exactly what list reports is? And then the whole point of this is actionable items. Like uh, show us the power of the tool, um, how, how we recommend using it, and then let's give some direct action to our people of how do they get this set up. Okay. So do you need to share the screen with me so that I can pull it up or? Uh, you should be able to hit share screen at the bottom. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I understand how that goes. Okay, so that sounds great. Let me do this and we'll go from here. Awesome, I can see your screen. Okay, and do you see? 
uh, PowerPoint. Okay, and are you seeing it slide to slide, or are you just seeing the one overall? Uh, listing, listing agent website and sign writers is the one we're looking at right now. Okay, so you're not seeing all the different slides below. I just want to, because I have two screens, I want to make sure you're seeing the right screen. Oh, I see on the left hand side, I see all the little slides uh, lined up as if I was open. I don't see it being presented as a, as a slideshow. I just see okay. PowerPoint open. All right, one second then, and we'll be on our way. Let me go back to this. Sorry about that. And then we'll be in good shape. Okay. Share. So let me, okay. Hopefully this addresses it now. And when I'm I go up. Your, I'm seeing your desktop now. Yeah, it should change here now. There we go, we're rolling. Okay, so what we're trying to do, List Reports is a platform that exists that took a lot of research from uh, the providers of it to say what can they do to really simplify a lot of the marketing needs for so many different real estate agents. There's so many things that, that agents can do that are so important and it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of uh, investment. And there's a big learning curve associated with it. So List Report said let's kind of put all this together and figure out what's the best solution to kind of facilitate that. So. What, we've, what they've done to simplify this whole process is they've said, okay, let's come up with a solution where we can address all of these challenges for all the agents. So first and foremost, I wanna let you know that, that Mark and I have invested in this with the various loan officers so that the agents don't have to pay anything. So just so that you know, and you kind of let go of, well, okay, how much am I gonna have to pay? You don't have to pay anything. Number two, they have a big background of users to ensure that, okay, we've addressed a lot of the concerns of agents to get their feedback. And they have, I think, over 60,000 agents now that are linked to list reports and using it. So that's a big database to validate that this must be effective. Secondly, from a marketing standpoint, they really wanted to simplify it, and so they used this term intuitive marketing, and I'll show you a few screenshots and you'll understand what that means and what that looks like. And then, of course, something that's important for all of us is, hey, I've got a lot of uh, leads, or I want a lot of leads, and if I get them, do I have time to really follow up, and they've effectively addressed that as well. So I'm just gonna show you a variety of, of the elements associated with this so that you have a better understanding of why there's value associated with this. So one of the things that they do, which is really powerful, is that when you set up an account with list reports, and you only have to do this once, every time you have a listing that goes on the MLS, all of that content is automatically absorbed within list reports. So all the things that I'm gonna show you here in a few minutes will automatically be developed, it's automated and it happens within two hours from the time that the listing comes on the MLS. So rather than say, okay, I see that there's some really neat flyer elements, or hey, I guess I could develop a website, but I really don't have the time to do that. All of that is, is automated and done for you within the two hour time frame. Secondly, another thing that's really nice is if you use uh, sign writers uh, to really generate more leads when you have listings, one of the challenges that so many people have is, hey, I've got how many sign writers should I buy? I've got a variety of phone numbers associated with that. Not that the people can't immediately use their smartphones and dial it, but it doesn't necessarily brand you as an agent as effectively as you'd like. So one of the things that <clears throat> List Reports has done is to say, let's change that. Rather than simply say, here's a list of phone numbers people can dial, you can also text and you'll see on this <clears throat> uh, screenshot to the right, or it says dream home to, you can put in your name or you can actually just change the, the number all the way to just a name and you'll see that in a minute so that on all of your listings, you're branding yourself, whether it's your name as an agent or your team name, and that really helps a lot as well. I think that's so, two, two quick things there, uh, James, if I can just chime in here and there is the two things that I think are, are really critical that you just said is number one is, is, as you guys know, I've been talking about how critical it is and how awesome the technology is coming out by KW. 
And it will be very rare that I recommend we plug into a technology platform outside of the KW platform. And this is one of them that is so simple to use and the power of it, um, in addition to your normal listening presentation is phenomenal and how easy it is to use. So what James says within two hours, it doesn't take two hours to set up. It's once you're, once you put in the listing and it, and it connects, it all is done for you within two hours. It does it by itself and links and connects. And then the other piece I loved on this was the sign writer is the ability of it to be uh, homes by green or whatever you want it to be instead of just some random number because those things drive me nuts. It's all about branding and the power of the technology behind it. Perfect. Thank you. So one of the things that then will happen as soon as the, uh, your listing is on the MLS is you'll get a, a database of information that can be seen uh, on list reports. So I'm going to show you kind of what that looks like right now. So when you log into list reports, this just happens to be for one of the Keller Williams agents in St. George, you'll be able to select every one of your listings and there's a variety of marketing materials that are available. <clears throat> one of them, and I'm just going to show you uh, some of them so you kind of get a sense of how the intuitive marketing elements that they promote exist. But one is, if you think about someone who sees a sign writer or just sees your listing online, whatever the case might be, if they, if they text you and say, hey, I'm interested in this property, then what immediately pops up for them is it's this image that uh, I had just showed you before, which is, hey, here's my listing associated with that. And they can select any one of these little elements here to get some simple, quick information. So to show you what that looks like, <clears throat> we'll just click on this property website, <clears throat> and you'll see the same kind of concept. This pops up. And they can say, okay, I want to know, know some information about the home. All they do is click the home and find out easily and quickly, oh, it's three bedroom, three bath, here's a square footage, here's when it was built. If they want to know more about the area and say, well, I've, this is an area I've driven through, but I really don't know this area very much. Can you give me some information about the area? Then they create all of the content. And again, it's automated. You don't have to do anything where, hey, here's information about uh, neighborhood eats, they call it. Here's information about schools in the area with the rankings. Here's distances to various things that may be of interest to them, um, you know, whether it's gas stations, gyms things like that, all sorts of kind of community elements that we want to know about. Here's things that are in the outdoors that people may be interested in. So all of these elements will just immediately pop up to simplify and help promote that, hey, yeah, I think all those things in the area, that really makes it nice for me. Uh, and I really like that information. The photo gallery, all of these photos are just simply aligned to whatever was posted on the MLS. But again, it's super easy to use on their smartphone, on a tablet, whatever the case might be, so they can see all of these images automatically and just scroll through them, which makes that really nice as well. If they want to get information about, hey, maybe I should get pre-approved, that's fine. If they want to have some information about the agent, and whatever information is shown here is whatever you want to enter in about yourself or your team. So here's your contact information that makes it simple and or here's just the background associated with with you that you want to promote. But the thing that I that I think is so nice about this is you can get through all of this information you know within just minutes as well. And they choose what they want. If they want to to say okay I want to meet the lender, that's fine too. They just click and it's the same exact information associated with as far as a profile goes as far as um, information about the agent. But the point here is, this is a very intuitive marketing element associated with uh, your sign writer promotion or however else you want to promote this with that information such that when they get a text back from you that's automated or a call, you can give them this, this web link automatically and they can simply get this content really, really fast. Yeah, the other thing is, Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Marcus. I think a couple cool, really cool things on here is obviously we're looking at this on, on a desktop, but the, it looks equally as sharp on your phone because you know how frustrating it is to try to look at a website that's not formatted for a phone. 
really easy to do. Um, I would show this in a listing presentation. So if I was, if I was going to portray this as a value, pull it up just like this and walk them through a listing. Uh, the other thing that was really critical for me as I explored this with James is in the event they click on meet your lender instead of meet your agent, um, the lender knows that this came from you. So that lender is not going to say, oh, well, let me connect you with some random agent. It's going to be, they're going to recognize that it came from you and they're going to act as if you guys are best friends if you're not already. And they're going to make sure that lead comes back to you in the event that they click to meet your lender and not meet your agent. That's a really good point. In fact, let me show you, uh, and you'll get this via text as well. So when a lead comes in, because this was the next thing I was going to show you, is that you'll get this via text, you'll get this via email, whatever. So this is sent to the, uh, the loan officer, but this is the exact same thing that's sent to you as a real estate agent. It'll just say, hey, someone's interested in your uh, listing at, and it gives you the address. Here's the phone number to reach that person. Here was the the, the code associated with uh, what they sent. So the point is you're going to get notified immediately every single time. And you can see in this regard that the loan officer was notified that it was, hey, it was Philip Sargent's property, the, the agent at this particular address. So awesome. to Mark's point, 100% of the time it brands the agent no matter what, even though the loan officer, of course, is notified as well. But that's really it. So they've really simplified that in that regard each and every time. So that's the property website uh, information. Uh, I'm just going to show you a few other things that make things really nice as well. When you have an open house, uh, of course, you want to present as much marketing material as you think is appropriate. And you can see how easily or how professional this is and simple um, this would be simply just to print out and provide to uh, the various uh, prospects, if you will, that are interested in coming to the open house. And as most of us know, not too many people who come to the open house actually come to buy that property, but it's about branding yourself and establishing a relationship with them so that they want to use you and consider you for you know, other properties as well. But nonetheless, all of this information, which uh, is again, automatically developed, you can simply just print out and uh, you know put in a flyer holder, however you want to do it, if you're interested for open houses as well. And, and no modification okay. here. It's a it's a one click ready to go, which is so cool. Yeah, that's exactly right. They also have uh, you know another thing that's really nice about this uh, as well is if you go, we'll go back here for a second. They actually have a sign-in sheet, uh, not that you're not preparing that again, but they really thought through, hey, what can we do to make it simple, uh, user-friendly, and very professional so that you can just print this out, and every single time someone comes in, hopefully you can do something to you know, motivate and promote them to want to sign this so you're building your database as well. So again, they've really thought through, hey, what are a lot, a lot of these elements that the agents need to do? And not that they don't do it, but it takes quite a bit of time. Let's just take care of all those things for them. Okay, promotional flyers um, as well. So uh, this is something that you would be able to um, provide to people if you want. This could be something that's outside uh, the listing if you want, or it could be wherever you think it's appropriate, or you can mail it to various people. So you'll have all sorts of content about the area. Again, a lot of that looks uh, similar because it's a function of, okay, how am I going to use this and where am I going to use it? But Mark has said something that I think is really uh, valuable as well. So if you, when you're giving a listing uh, presentation associated with this, they actually have a pre-listing, they call it a pre-listing presentation. And this is something that you can show to uh, your prospective client that, hey, this is uh, just to give you a sense of, of all the preparation work we're gonna to do to really distinguish ourselves from um, agents from other real estate brokerages, and you show them all the different elements that you're gonna provide when you list this for them. Now, if you want, you can use one of your existing listings and list reports, or you can just use a sample just to show them how you're really aligning with uh, the current uh, marketing needs associated with today's um, today's clients 
who are real, excuse me, today's buyers who are really interested in various properties. And again, now you can see this is a bigger screenshot of all those elements that we showed you before, which are oftentimes interested, uh, interesting to people. The other thing about the school report is, and this is up to you, it can rank the school report uh, if you want, but if the ranking's not as high as you'd like it to be, you can remove the ranking. So it just indicates here's the schools within the various areas. So it just shows the distance uh, away and what the schools are and then you know what they're showing. But if the rankings of these schools are, are high uh, and you're aligned to that, then the rankings will show up as well uh, and you can promote that. But again, you think about this, when you're doing a, a listing presentation, how often do you have all of this content to really show them to really distinguish yourself from somebody else? So this is a really, really powerful way of effectively um, making a difference in addition to all the other things that you have at Keller Williams. So hopefully that helps. Any comments on that, Mark, that you want to share? No, the thing I like about this, whether you do a, a paper listing presentation or a digital listing presentation, um, you know, if you, if you did a paper presentation, having one of these printed out on really sharp, nice paper, will just show them, you can use it as an example over and over again without having to leave it with them. So you only have to print it once. And then once, obviously once the listing's done, this is a one click and done for you, but it just sets you apart of like, Hey, here's some things that we're going to do above and beyond what other people are doing, how easy it is to access all the information that's given beyond the information about the house is what most agents are going to sell is we're going to, we're just going to talk about the house and what that, what this does is it takes this, you're selling something beyond the house. You're selling the experience of the neighborhood. Uh, we yeah, got a great point. We got the, we got a question in here. Can you use other listings or just your own listing? Can you use other listings or just a great question? I don't know. So, so how would an other listing work? I guess I'm, a little bit confused about that. Do you want to unmute yourself and ask and, and open a dialogue with James there? I'm not sure who this is. They're just saying, oh, do we have to be the listing agent? Um, or can you go in and, and pick a an, uh, listing for someone else in the office? Can you put your contact information on that and market someone else's listing? No, I think what happens, I, I think the way it works because list reports pulls the content from MLS mm. is whoever has signed that up and posted it in MLS, they have to have their own account in list reports. And again, it's free. The agents there, there's no cost associated with setting this up uh, within list reports. So that's the good news. So it's not as if, Oh, can I link someone to my account so they don't have to pay as much, no matter what it's free. Got it. Okay. All right, we have about five minutes left. I want to talk a little bit then, uh, which is really important um, for buyers as well. So you, you, you don't have to use this solely for the listing side, but there's great information for the buyers as well. If you're a buyer's agent, or you may be both, but if you have some buyers and you're driving them around, obviously you're going to pull up whatever listings they have indicated they're interested in and or based on your research uh, of what they said they're interested in, you're going to have X number of listings that you're going to show them. Well, you can also pull up that neighborhood report content. So as you're showing them the various listings, they're going to see, okay, I'm going to show you this home. And I just want to show you, here's an overview of what the home looks like inside. Here's a summary of, of the convenience of the areas as far as what it's close to, what the eating establishments are, grade schools, a lot of the stuff that you've already seen. But the point is, this is really, really professional from the standpoint of branding yourself as a very effective agent to buyers to say, wow, this is really cool. Instead of just saying, okay, it's a one, two, three Elm Street, let's go there and let's look inside and see what we think. You're really giving me as much information as you can about the community, about why I might be interested in that general area, all sorts of things, uh, all sorts of nice, easy to use, uh, see photos before we even go there so that they go, no, nah, I'm not interested in that listing or hey, no, this sounds really, really good before you've even gone inside. So. That's a very, very powerful element for the buyers as well. And, and to, and, and again, I don't know who Costco is, it's just showing your name as Costco, but to your point, if you were, if you were going to do an open house with someone else's listing and you didn't want to have, you know, come in here and build a whole listing presentation with their contact information on it, you could use that neighborhood report piece that will have your information on it. If you're sitting in someone else's open house. Right. 
Great point. Okay, then let's talk sign writers here for a minute as well. That's the other thing that they uh, they provide. And so we'll talk about uh, two elements. There's the there's the, the data element associated with the sign writers, and that's really what we're going to talk about. Then there's ordering the physical sign writers. Uh, so let's just talk about the data element. One of the things that I mentioned before, which is really nice, is that you can, again, brand yourself instead of saying, hey, text a certain a code at a, at a phone number. You can text your name or whatever terminology you want to come up with, whether it's a group, whether it's just something for fun, it's completely up to you, such that for all of your listings that you may have, it's always your brand name. Now, here's the reason that that works, because some people would say, well, I don't get that. If, if, if I'm Jeff and I've got 10 listings, how are they going to know which listing should show up when they text that? Well, it's because of GPS. So, List Reports has all of your listings, and when someone texts Jeff, and they're near the appropriate listing, then List Reports does that analysis and says, oh, okay, this is the property because this is how close they are to that listing. So that's how that works. Very cool. So, yeah, so one of the values, a significant value, I guess I should say, associated with how List Reports addresses the sign writer's data content is to allow you to brand it. Now, here's a few, here's a few of the design elements associated with the sign writers that List Reports will automatically provide. You just pick the one you want. Now, having said that, you can come up with your own design as well, um, and obviously you can post Keller Williams logo on that. Whatever content you want, you're not limited. So the biggest benefit associated with what List Reports provides is the ability to brand whatever name you want, and then you can either come up with your own design for the sign writer uh, that you'd like, uh, or you can use one of these, it's completely up to you. The, the last element is to just secure the, the sign writers. And I'll leave that to Marcus to say, here's the, the, the providers that you guys may want to use locally. And the reason is you can use list reports to buy them, but they did indicate to us as a matter of full disclosure, which I appreciate the account rep said, uh, most likely you'll get a better deal if you buy sign writers locally. Uh, so I certainly if you want to buy them from us, you can, but you probably want to find a local provider because it'll cost a little bit less for you. The other nice thing about this also is by branding yourself, rather than just a specific code for every listing, you may only need to buy 10 of these because you'll always be using that same text name. So when a listing sells, which we know they sell fast now, you just pick up that sign writer and you can use it somewhere else. So your investment in sign writers is much, much smaller now because of list reports. It's awesome. So, I, so just to kind of finish here, <clears throat> for the sake of time, the, the key thing about this that I want to, uh, there's two things about this that I really want to uh, summarize. Number one, it's really simple and easy to use and requires none of your time as far as developing all of this. And I showed you about 20% of the content associated with this. So uh, what I'll, what each of you would want to do is go to list reports and set up your own account. And again, that's free. So it's not an issue. Some of the elements associated with this, that if you want to get to the next level, like the sign writers, as well as the uh, website, some of those, all you have to do is link to a, to a, to a real, excuse me, to a loan officer, ideally one of uh, the loan officers in your, uh, market centers that are part of citywide again that's still free and then you'll get kind of the next level of uh, capabilities associated with this no uh, no matter what there's still no investment on your part that's just list reports way of saying if you'll partner and partners definition just means link i want to make sure i'm clear about that link to a loan officer uh, on list reports then you'll get 100% of all the capabilities still for free. And the only thing that manifests itself uh, on the content is you'll see the picture of that loan officer and their information. But we have literally, uh, it's, uh, Keller Williams St. George operation has very, very effectively implemented this. And we have dozens and dozens of agents that have really gotten the benefit of this. And they've linked to our uh, loan officer uh, down there. So. Awesome. So that's really it. If, if obviously, if there's any other questions, we can address that. But hopefully, this is helpful for today's training. 
Yeah, yeah, it's been it's such a phenomenal tool. And it's, this is, again, just to reiterate, you know, why we've chosen to partner with you guys is you're constantly bringing value to the table. So just in closing, this is my closing statement in regards, in regards to this tool. One of the things that we've been talking about with the fundamentals is to run an effective real estate business. It's about having a cadence and a system to your business. So this is my actionable recommendation with this tool is walk down the hall and, and get partnered with your uh, citywide representative in your office. Um, it, just make an appointment with them and say, hey, I wanna implement the, the, the list reports tool. They're gonna help you set up your account and get it all uh, set up. And then the only thing that I would do if I were you is James showed us several of the flyers in there. The thing I would do if I was you is I'd look, pull them up. I'd look at every report and just make a, make a system out of it. I'm going to use this report, this report, and this report on every listing. So you don't have to use every one of them. Just choose the three or four reports that you're going to use. And then you've got a system around it to when you either have an admin or if it's yourself doing it, it's I have a listing. I go here. I have these three reports. I click the share on Facebook and I'm done. Just create a system around it, but utilize this tool because it does set you apart from what other people are doing. And it's a powerful tool to help you secure those listings. And we all know listings are king right now. So James, thanks again for taking some time this morning and, and showing us this tool. And more importantly, thanks for being uh, such a phenomenal resource and a partner uh, in our businesses. You're, you're a huge asset and I appreciate, appreciate you both on a, a business and a personal level. No, thank you very much. I appreciate the invitation. Okay, guys, make it a great week. Go crush it. Uh, proud to be in business with you. Thanks for being on the call.